Hi, this is Shelly from Frugal Family Home, and I wanted to share with you when I got on my shopping trip this time. Um, I went to two stores. I went to Fred Meyers and I went to Winco Foods. I usually do one big shopping trip at Winco and then a couple weeks later I'll go back and I'll get just um, a few things that we need in the bulk foods. But today because I was short on time and couldn't do a lot of my discount grocery store shopping, I just went and grabbed the good buys at Fred Meyers and went to Winco to pick up what else we, we needed. So let me show you what we got. We'll start with Fred Meyers first. Okay, Fred Meyers had their milk and orange juice on sale with coupon. The half gallons of milk and half gallons of orange juice were just 99 cents. So I stocked up on two for myself and the cat so I wouldn't have to buy it full price. For the soy milk, there was a coupon, a digital coupon. Um, and so I loaded that onto my Fred Meyers card and I got the silk soy milk for just $1.99. Next items I purchased were the Drisco raspberries, and these were at a great, great buy. They were only 99 cents each, which usually they're $2.99 to $3.99, so that was a good buy. And I also picked up some blackberries, were, which were not on such a great buy. It was $3.99, but I'm making a red, white, and blue dessert recipe for the blog, so I needed some sort of blueberries but my kids can eat blueberries so we use blackberries instead and so I'll use that in the recipe and those were $3.99 a little expensive but that's okay the best foods mayonnaise was on sale um, with coupon for $2.50 and the last items I purchased was bread. Um, I got some sandwich bread for us because my husband takes a sandwich every day for work and we like to eat toast for breakfast. And I knew this week, because we are doing a tiling project, I probably wasn't gonna have time to make bread. So I bought three loaves of the Fred Meyer bread and these were 99 cents each. And then we needed some hamburger buns for dinner one night this week. And so I bought those and those were 99 cents too. And um, I found at Fred Meyers that this um, pst, brand, I guess that's how you say it, there's two um, different, I guess, grades of bread and buns at Fred Meyers. There's this one, and then there's another one, and I found them to be almost exactly the same, but you can save like 25 cents a package for each one of these. So if you're there, you might give this, um, this one of Fred Meyers brands a try and see if you like it too. When I stopped at Winco this week, um, they had their Ritz crackers on sale for $1.58 a box, and then I had a 75 cent off of two coupon. So I picked up four boxes of those, and I got the bacon, a, reg a regular box, a box that is the bacon and, um, and black pepper, and this one is really good if you haven't tried it before. And another favorite of ours is the roasted vegetables. And this one is really good too. So if you haven't tried those in the Ritz friend, I'd encourage you to give them a try because they are really good. They've also had their medium five dozen eggs on sale for $4.98. And so I picked up another five dozen eggs and we will just eat those for um, hard boil them for snacks. We eat eggs for breakfast every day too. So it's always good when I can get them on sale because the large ones are usually twice that price at $10. Since we have to eat dairy-free for my kids and my husband, I picked up some of the Smart Balance um, dairy-free butter um, or margarine, and that's what we use on toast and things like that, and it is pretty good. I also needed cheese for myself, so I got the mozzarella cheese and the sharp cheddar cheese for me, and I was going to buy these at Fred Meyers because they were on sale for $1.67 per 8 ounce, but I found a better everyday price at Winco, so I picked them up there instead. I needed just some chicken breasts that weren't already prepared with a sauce on them for um, one of our dinners this week, so I just picked up a package of the Tyson um, frozen chicken breasts. I've been waiting for a ground beef sale and I've been really frustrated because the ground beef, um, the 93% lean ground beef has been on sale and that's great but when I want to make hamburgers or meatballs or things like that, the 93% lean is just too lean. It's 
becomes dry and it's not very flavorful. So I've been looking for 80% lean on sale, like at $2.99, like the 93% has been on sale. And there has not been a sale at all. So I broke down and bought about three pounds, two and a half pounds of the ground beef so I can make some hamburger patties um, for dinner one night and cook some up for, for some of our meals that we need for um, cooked ground beef in. I stopped by the deli counter and I found some roast beef at a good buy and this Hawaiian ham um, there. And um, both um, the Hawaiian ham was $4.98 a pound and the roast beef was um, $3.98 a pound. So that was a really good buy. And my kids and husband really like to have roast beef sandwiches. So I bought some of those. As far as the vegetables and fruits go, I picked up the grapes. They were $1.98. Not a really super good buy, but the best buy I could find on grapes since I wasn't stopping at the discount grocery store this week. I got a head of lettuce for $0.98, cents and I know I usually only pay f $0.25 cents at the discount grocery store, but like I said earlier, I just didn't have enough time today to actually stop there, too. Um, I picked up some bananas. These were $0.48 cents a pound, and we were um, running low on tomatoes, and these nice Roma tomatoes were $0.48. Eight cents, no, 99 cents a pound at Winco. So I picked those up. I usually pay 49 cents a pound at the discount grocery store, but um, we wanted some tomatoes, so I picked those up. And the last things I picked up were the Fred or the Winco um, cookies. I got two chocolate chip and one sugar. Since my husband takes cookies each day in his lunch, I try to keep a variety so it's not boring. And these are a little bit over a dollar package at Winco every day, so they're not a bad buy. And they really are quite good cookies, and they are dairy free, so my kids and my husband can eat them. And so for all this food here today, when I went to Winco, I ended up spending $57.88. And then at Fred Meyers, with all of the sale items they had on sale, I spent $20.49 this week. So that brings our total to $78.37 for our grocery shopping for our family of four this week. And if you like these grocery hauls, I would love to have you subscribe to our channel. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.